Good morning. This week's Torah portion, the Jewish people go free. But even before next week's Torah portion, which is where they receive the Ten Commandments, and the Fourth Commandment being to keep the day of Shabbos holy, in this very parsha that they go free, they are given the mitzvah of Shabbat. When God rains down the manna from heaven, God says, six days a week you shall collect the manna, but on the seventh day you shall not go out to collect manna. But rather I will grant a double portion of manna on Friday, for Friday and for Shabbat. And indeed until this very day on Friday night and on Shabbat we have two chalot on the table symbolizing the double portion of manna that fell from heaven on Friday for Shabbat as well. Why was this the first commandment the Jewish people received? Because now that the Jewish people had left slavery, God was teaching the Jewish people that we must preserve freedom internally. How do we preserve freedom within our lives? By dedicating one day a week to be truly free. One day a week on Shabbat, there are no employers and employees. There are no buyers and sellers, no creditors and debtors. There's no traffic, there's no factories but rather there is peace, sanctity, tranquility, a day dedicated to what is really important in life, like family, like your marriage, like your children, like prayer, like community, like Torah study, like remembering the story of who you are and the Jewish people's long history. This is what has preserved the Jewish people throughout all of the millenniums and renewed us in every generation. As Echad Ha'am famously said, more than the Jewish people have kept Shabbat, Shabbat has kept the Jewish people. We all know that in life there are those things that are important and those things that are urgent. Unfortunately, very often the things that are urgent push aside and squeeze out the things that are really important in life. But it's precisely those things in life that are important that brings meaning and happiness and fulfillment to life. And sometimes we look back and we say we spend so much time doing that which was urgent that we failed to focus on what was really important. Shabbat is a built-in mechanism, one day a week, 25 hours a week, to focus on what's really important. What could be more important than your family, your loved ones, your community, your faith, your relationship with God? That's the blessing of Shabbat. The truest renewable energy is Shabbat because it renews us and allows us to be creative for the next six days of the week, allowing us to tune in to our inner voice, the voice of our soul. There's a story told about this wealthy man from New York who went on a lovely uh, vacation with his wife to some resort in the Bahamas. And he's checked into a five-star hotel. And every day he would wake up late, have breakfast overlooking the ocean with his wife, then he would go for a nice stroll on the beach and talk to his wife and have a lovely day. Then he would come back early to the hotel and have some uh, drinks, some cocktails, and then have a lovely dinner watching the sunset, having this beautiful vacation. One day he goes out and the next day he goes out and every day he sees the way there's this fisherman who goes out to his boat at about 11 o'clock and returns about one o'clock or two o'clock with a, a net full of fish full of fish and he went over to the man he said what are you doing every day he said well i earn a living he said how do you earn a living he says i go out i fish for a couple of hours catch 10 15 fish i go to the market i sell it and i support my family and the wealthy new yorker said why do you just go out for work for two three hours why don't you get up early six o'clock head out on the water at seven stay out till 6 p.m catch hundreds of fish and then you could earn more money and then you could become more successful. And he said, what would you, I do then? He says, well, then you would buy more boats and hire more employees and then you would start canning the fish and exporting it and building a big company. And then he says, one day the company could be so big that you could go onto the stock exchange and one day you could cash out as a multimillionaire. And the simple fisherman on the island says, and what would I do then? He said, well, then you could retire to a nice little resort town on the ocean and just take strolls with your wife on the beach and have breakfast on your patio and drink wine at sunset. And life was so busy, hustling and bustling, that we failed to take time for what's really most valuable, precious, and fulfilling in life. The Jewish people are told, if you want to remain a free people, remember, 
mitzvah number one, every week dedicate one day for Shabbat, a day of sanctity, a day of introspection, a day of true joy and happiness. Have a wonderful day.